I want to give you a little teaser for some of the tips and tricks that we'll be showing off in PC Crash. So what I have here is a collision. I'm just going to reset this and crash them, run them again. And you'll see my vehicles are doing kind of the right thing, except they're probably colliding in the wrong lane. So normally to move the vehicles over uh, manually will take a bit of work in figuring out how far you want to move them, punching in some numbers. But it's a nifty little trick here. If I have my crash window open, you see that when I have my tow truck tool, my icon turns to the little move icon. But if I hold down the Alt key, I get a little ellipsis. Then that moves both vehicles and the point of impact all over to the other lane. Just going to hit the reset, crash that again, and run. So you can see that they're moving, they're a lot closer. Need a bit more rotation on this fella. So another trick here, I'm just going to move them over a little bit more. Is you can rotate the vehicles together, the same trick holding on the Alt key. It rotates the vehicles about whichever vehicle center of gravity you're selecting. But if I hold down, instead of Alt, if I hold down the Control key, you say I get a different icon. And that only works when this window's open. If that window's op not open, it doesn't work. But if I open my crash window and hold down the Control key, now I can rotate the vehicles about the point of impact. And the nice thing about that is it preserves my collision engagement. If I just rotate the vehicles about the center of gravity, then my collision engagement uh, gets messed up. So now if I crash these guys again, there, now you can see I'm getting something a lot closer. Just a little bit more tweaking will let me match these rest positions. So that's just a taste of a couple of the neat little uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts and whatnot that you can use to improve your PC crash uh, workflow and ability. I hope that you get a chance to take in the webinar.